Hi, how you doing? I'm Paul Begley, and this is December the 21st, 2010, two years before the end of the Mayan calendar, n closing in on the end of time. I don't know when the end of time is, but the signs of the Bible are being fulfilled. Today is the winter solstice, okay, December 21st, 2010. It is the shortest day of the year as far as light is concerned. It is also, for the first time in 372 years, there's a lunar eclipse that took place this morning at 3.17 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The people in New York City were able to look out and see this huge moon turn blood red before their eyes. It is also a blue moon, the first time it's been a blue moon on the winter solstice in 6,000 years or since the beginning of the creation of man. All these things happening on the same day has never happened. Also, the shock waves, the heat waves, the energy waves from the sun, from the uh, solar tsunami that took place on the sun, well, those also enter our atmosphere today. Plus, an earthquake of 6.5 magnitude just shook up the ground of Akhmadulajad of Iran. Seven or eight have died. Hundreds are injured. We don't know how many casualties there's really going to be. The details are just coming in. Now, I want to tell you that the Bible speaks of these coming signs. The Bible talks about signs. You know, you know in uh, Matthew 24, it talks about earthquakes in divers places, and then you're going to hear about wars and rumors of wars and famines and pestilence and, and, the, and hatred and kingdom rising against kingdom, nation against nation. Well, I want to read to you what it says in Revelation chapter 6, real quick now. The sixth chapter of Revelation talks about the first six seals of time. And the seals have to be broken. And there's only one person that has the authority and has the, uh, the serenity and has the passion and has been given, granted the permission to break the seals of time. He is the Son of God, the only Son of God, Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Let me just read to you what the Bible says in Revelation 6, verse 12. And I beheld, when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair. The moon became as blood. Today it happened. The earthquake happened. The stars of heaven fell onto the earth, even as a fig tree casts her untimely figs when she's shaken of a mighty wind. There's still meteor rain. Shooting stars are still going by the atmosphere. I seen one two days ago. They're still happening. So that's happening as well. And then the Bible says, And the heavens departed as a scroll when it's rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. Can you imagine the force now this is telling you about the coming of Christ. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and every mighty man, and free man, every bond man, every free man, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. Well, why are they hiding? And who are they hiding from? And they said to the mountains and to the rocks, Fall on us, hide us. From the face of him that sitteth on the throne. And from the wrath, from the anger of the Lamb. Who is the Lamb? Jesus Christ. For the great day of his wrath is come. And who shall be able to stand? That's Revelation chapter 6, 12 through 17. I want you to read it. Matter of fact, read that entire chapter. It talks about the first six seals of time. Today, 372 years ago today, there was the last lunar eclipse of the moon on the winter solstice. 6,000 years ago today was the last time there was a blue moon on the winter solstice. The, the last time there was a winter solstice, blue moon, and lunar eclipse turning the moon red, it's never happened before. I'm Paul Begley. Are you ready? Are you ready? Do you know Jesus as your Savior? Are you ready if he should come? God bless you.